Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about MFA. So MFA was a very difficult stock for me to hold on to because when I first started investing in MFA, I was right up here, right? My average cost per share was about in the $7 mark. So when things started to go downwards, I was down a lot of money. At some point, my overall market value was $33. Yep, $33. If I had chosen to sell my MFA shares, at the bottom, I would have walked out with $33. And this is exactly why it is very important that you invest in companies that you believe in so that when they're down 60, 70, 80%, you don't sell for a massive loss. So let's go ahead and start analyzing this movement. Right here was when it was announced that a lot of people were going back to work. And then we saw a very large pullback followed by another uh, rise in the value. And again, this is just how stocks move. They move in a zigzag pattern. So what I'm seeing here is the beginning of another pattern just like this one. If I had to make a prediction, it would be that we're going to continue seeing this stock flatten for the next couple of days or weeks until we get some more news, whether good or bad. So if you're looking at this stock and you're, you're thinking of starting a position, I think that overall, this stock is still hugely undervalued. If you're buying this stock for its dividends, it's important to know that right now you're not going to get any, right? That's why so many people sold out of this stock because people who were in this stock wanted dividends. So when dividends were cut, they left the stock, right? However, I think these people have very short sight because the likelihood of MFA Financial never being able to go back to where it used to be, not even in three, four, five, ten 10 years is incredibly unlikely. So if you're looking for a long-term dividend position in a REIT, I still believe that MFA is a good REIT to jump into right now. If you're considering investing in MFA through Robinhood, please use the link down below so you can get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. If you like this video or got any useful information from it, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see my strategies for maximizing my wealth, stay in the know and hit the subscribe button. Thank you and see you next time.